Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and it is a brand new year with brand new content. We've all been there. You step into your favorite home decor store and you see these perfectly styled vignettes with beautiful loungy sofas and sectionals, a beautiful coffee table, a stunning little tablescape. You've got perfectly styled coffee books, some fresh flowers, some little decor pieces. And the first thing you're thinking is you just wanna bring that all home into your space. But not everyone has that kind of budget to blow on one single room. In this video, I'll be sharing my top 10 best cheap room decor ideas that designers swear by. This video is all about affordable room decor ideas to elevate your space so you can say goodbye to splurging and hello to saving for big investment pieces. If you're a longtime follower of the channel, or if this is your first time stopping by, you will know that one of my key takeaway tips that I always share is to style your space with the things that you already own. Essentially, shop your home first before you go out and buy anything new. Whether it's a collection of old books, vintage photographs, or even small little tchotchke decorative items, usually a space only needs a bit of rearranging to feel fresh and brand spanking new. Switch up the decor from room to room and pull out all of your favorite items to display front and center. This will allow you to rotate all of the items that you currently own and love so you can figure out what else to pepper in should the need arise. Tip number two is to change the details, but not the whole picture. If you're feeling like the room design is getting a little stale, or if you're growing tired of the same old look, pick out key elements to swap out instead of the whole shebang. Swapping out some throw blankets and some throw pillows can make a room feel like an entirely different space. If your bedroom feels a little boring, no need to splurge on a whole new duvet or a sheet set. Consider the things that catch your eye first and maybe just throw on a new quilt or a coverlet to refresh the vibe. If your kitchen countertops are feeling kind of plain, why not style the surface with a new set of dishware or some vintage colored glassware? This will add the pop you need to brighten up that kitchen and change just the details, but not the entire countertop. Tip number three is to repurpose your furniture. That doesn't mean slapping a new coat of paint on old wood furniture that you no longer love, even though I do love that trick. It's all about rearranging the furniture from room to room and maybe pulling out some old pieces and styling it in new spaces so it feels fresh and new. We often get mesmerized by brand new furniture at our favorite home decor store, especially when it's styled so beautifully in a perfect vignette. This is a key opportunity for you to take a step back and look at the whole picture. Think of the things that you already own, but it may not be used for the same purpose. You could use an old dresser as a new bar cabinet, or maybe even a pair of nesting side tables as your brand new coffee table. By placing old pieces in new areas, you can repurpose furniture and refresh your space with the pieces that you already own and love. My next tip is to save on indoor plants. If you're a new plant parent, there is no need to splurge on high-end nursery indoor plants, especially if you're just dabbling in indoor plant care for the very first time. I can't tell you how many indoor plants I have killed, sadly. Just trying my hand out at what works, what doesn't work, like watering, fertilizing, all of that good stuff that goes into indoor plant care. A great affordable option to shop indoor plants is at your local hardware store. My favorite fiddle leaf fig tree was actually purchased at Home Depot when I purchased this home. I have propagated so many little plant babies from this one singular tree and it was so affordable. I want to say it was about $70 and $80 for this really beautiful five foot tree. The great thing about Home Depot is that if your tree or indoor plant doesn't work out for you, maybe you've had it in the environment for a couple of days, as long as you're within the return frame time, they'll actually honor the return as long as you have a receipt. 
My favorite way to style different vignettes in my home is with something fresh and something green. Rather than spending money on purchasing brand new indoor plants or brand new trees every single time my room needs a refresh, I simply cut and propagate a stem from one of my existing mother plants. If you want something full and lush just to fill a corner, look for something viney like a pothos. Those are so easy to propagate in style and I actually have some few indoor plant videos on the channel now if you're looking for styling tips. An even cheaper way to fill your home with the indoor plant look that you love is to simply go out into your yard and forage. Look for large sculptural branches that you can cut off an existing tree, top it in a really beautiful vessel and voila, you have an Instagram worthy shot in less than five minutes time. Tip number five is to add a cozy area rug. If you don't know what size to purchase, definitely watch my ultimate guide to area rugs video where I help you plan and lay out the size of your room in relation to the size of the area rug that you should be purchasing underneath. Remember that not all rooms need area rugs. I don't have an area rug in my dining space. My dining space is really small. The dining chairs are on casters. And in an open plan space, I like the floor to transition from one space to the next without any breaks. However, in other spaces like a living room or even the entry or a kitchen, I love how area rugs can add that pop of color and texture and warmth that you need for the space. When you think of luxurious area rugs underfoot, you're automatically thinking it's probably going to be expensive. But my favorite affordable rug options are from Target, Apartment 2B, Urban Outfitters, Ikea, and even Home Goods if you really know how to pick and whittle through the selections. Another cheap room decor tip that designers swear by, I do it all the time, I've been doing it since I was a little girl, is to go thrifting. This could be scouring your local thrift store, Goodwill, antique store, flea markets, basically any opportunity you have to shop secondhand, absolutely do it. My number one tip for thrifting is to simply purchase what catches your eye. One of my favorite textile designers, William Morris, says that you shouldn't add anything to your home that you don't believe to be functional or beautiful. So definitely keep that tip in mind when you're at a thrift store. Especially when you can afford every single thing in that thrift store since it's secondhand, you still want to look for key items to bring into the home to help elevate the look of the space. Not clutter it with even more decorative junk. There are a few items that I always look for when I'm at the thrift store. The first is large baskets. Anything that's hand woven or wicker or rattan, I mean, you're looking for really high quality key woven baskets. And there's actually so many home decor items that you can fill these baskets with that make it look very high end and luxurious. The second thing I always shop for is art and art frames. I've been known to install entire gallery walls simply from sourcing at the thrift store. For me, it's all about buying art that's meaningful, regardless of the price tag. A majority of the artwork that's found in my home is either from the flea market, the thrift store, or I've DIY'd myself. It's all about curating a gallery that feels personal, special, and meaningful to you. My next tip is to decorate affordable nurseries in style. With a new baby on the way, I know that there are things that I'm gonna splurge on in the nursery and things that I'm really gonna skimp on. There's no need to splurge on a big fancy crib or really luxe bedding because they're babies. They're gonna grow out of these phases as fast as they grew into them. When Kamari was born, we never even purchased a crib for her. I had a bassinet on the side of the bed because I was nursing 24 seven. By the time that we felt that she needed a crib, I mean, she was already able to climb in and out of things. I actually have that crib saved from Kamari. I mean, we never even opened and assembled it. So of course I'll assemble it in the new nursery and I'll really save on bedding from Pottery Barn Kids, West Elm Kids. Target is a really great resource and Land of Nod has the cutest little prints and patterns. But my favorite all-time designer resource for anything kids or nursery related is Etsy. 
There are hundreds of baby and kid specific shops on Etsy that are all custom and one of a kind. My next tip is to rethink those throw pillows. You might remember from my last video on how to refresh your home for the new year is all about adding strategic throw pillows and throw blankets. But to go one step further and to reiterate this tip, always keep the pillow inserts and always swap out the pillow covers like you're changing out seasonal sheets. You might want cottons and light linens for spring and summer. You can move on to the heavier flannels, knits and velvets for fall and winter. The next tip is to toss your packaging and upgrade all your storage. This is a key designer tip, especially when styling the bathroom. Think of all of those daily essentials that you purchase time and time again. It could be cotton balls, it could be cotton swabs, it could even be your regular old hand soap. As soon as you purchase these from the store, you can create a really cute display on the counter and save space under the cabinets by placing them in glass jars. Not only will you be able to see all your daily essentials, but glass reflects light and light will add more brightness into your space. And my final tip for cheap room decor ideas is to find dupes for designer lighting. You might remember from my splurge versus save video, this key Pinterest tip that I always use and I actually always tell people. Simply save the image of a key designer piece that you absolutely love. In this case, we're speaking specifically about designer lighting. You can save the image of the designer light piece and you can upload it onto Pinterest's search bar and it looks for quality dupes at all affordable prices. Clearly lighting can get expensive. So if you're looking for a statement piece, whether or not it's a pendant light or a chandelier or even wall sconces for your dining space, think of Pinterest first. There are plenty of options for stylish lights in all types of finishes and all types of styles that you can find at the click of a button. This tried and true Pinterest tip really works for all types of stylish decor, furniture and lighting. But for me, lighting is one of those key items that I always save on and since I'm not touching it and I'm always looking at it from afar. There you have it. These are my top 10 best cheap room decor ideas that designers swear by. I've been swearing by these tips for almost two decades of styling, decorating and designing by now and I want to hear what you think of it. Are there any new tips that you've learned today? Or are there any new tips that you'd like to share with our viewers in the comments below? If you like this type of content and you want more affordable room decor ideas, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions when it comes to styling your home on a budget. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we drop every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy 2022 and I'll see you in the next video.